We're heading off to our campground, our camp spot, which is just around the corner. Do you have anything to say, Richard? I'm interested in this spot. I mean, we're just behind a harvester, so I wonder what tomorrow's breakfast is. Yeah, we've got a harvester restaurant right next door. Uh, their breakfasts are pretty pricey, by the way. Oh, um, so I hope you'll be content with uh, oh, oats. Definitely. <laughs> And this is it. We're at our camp spot and we've noticed on the top here there's quite a few thorn bushes. So we've got to be mindful where we actually set up our camp. But we've found a pretty level spot here with not too much debris. Uh, there's some more thorns here, Richard. That's my bag. I carry more, which I think is maybe 40 litre. There's Richard's gear. 30 litre plus 10. And there's Richard. Woo! <laughs> and that's the harvester you see in the background with all the lights. And then, I don't know if you can hear that, the ocean in the background. We've got our ground sheet covered which is a cheap one I picked up at uh, Pound Stretches for I think a pound fifty or two pound. And now for the rest of the gear. It's pretty dark guys, but we're all set up. This is the configuration with the top. You'll get a better idea in the morning when there's a bit more light. And that's inside the shelter. And we're all nice and snug and we're busy brewing uh, some hot chocolate. One thing I want to show you is Richard's fairy lights. You don't mind me calling them fairy lights. <laughs> Richard calls them strip lights. How practical is the make? 30 pounds power practical, USB on the end, and it comes with things you you can get a bit of rope, put it into the bag. You can use the bag as a lantern, um, and it's, it's got like little uh, sort of loops in which you can uh, hook it onto things, uh, and also there's like three things that you can uh, adjust the position of, and those magnetic, so you can use it anywhere. Um, be it mechanical, you know, under a car or camping. It Just behind Richard here, we're going against the norms and we're actually burning two tea light candles in the top just to generate some heat. Well, with you here, I am with the norms. So if you, if you don't hear from us uh, again after tonight, it's because we died from carbon monoxide poisoning. Um, but the important things first, we're going to have a brew. And then I think Richard is ready to climb into bed. He's already in his sleeping bag. Oh, I need to eat, man. I need to eat. And you're not going to eat in the tent. I, I know. I know. Campers, wild campers, have pee bottles, but no, no, not yet. You'll have to go out in the bush there. Oh, eat, not we. Oh, I thought you said we. Yeah. You need to go we. Okay. <laughs> because I know that's the in thing nowadays. All these wild campers have got pee bottles. No, I don't <laughs> do that. I lean off the side and piss. That would give you your old buckle, though. Let's see how far this water is. Almost there. It's steaming. You all comfortable? Aye. No, you can't sleep in the middle. Where am I going to sleep? Out there. <laughs> Just watch out for those candles that's, that's next to you. Will do, yeah. <laughs> So Richard, while I'm recording, what is for, for dinner? Uh, I have creamy cheese pasta for starters. Yeah. And then we're going to have ramen noodles for mains. Yeah. 
with something I can't remember. Mixed vegetables. Mixed vegetables. And onion, onion flakes. Yeah, yeah, onion flakes. Uh, <laughs> dehydrated. Dehydrated, yeah. Which is gorgeous. It's going to be great. Oh, and hobgoblin. Good morning, peeps. <clears throat> it's Saturday morning. Um, I went to go and meet Richard at the National Coach Rail Station last night. He travelled all the way from North Yorkshire and uh, we walked along Bournemouth Beach and found the spot where we set up our shelter and this is where we slept for the night. And in the background is the beach. Richard is still sleeping. I'm, I'm going to wake him up any minute now. So we can have a, a brew and then we're going to go uh, to Bournemouth and Sandbanks. Richard? Richard, wakey wakey. Time to get up, buddy. <laughs> the sun came up ages ago. Come on. <laughs> this is what Richard and I are having for breakfast this morning. Hobgoblin. A nice strong brew with iron and vitamins and minerals to give us energy and... Oh, Richard, are you all right? Well, there yeah. you go. It's one of those mornings. <laughs> cool. We've packed up camp and we're ready to rock and roll. We've done a bit of a litter pick, uh, walking around the area, picking up other people's garbage, which is the ethical and responsible thing to do. Guys, if you're coming to a beautiful spot such as this, do not leave your rubbish behind. Now, this is the camp spot or the ground that we camped on last night. We're following the ethos of leave no trace. It doesn't look like we've been here. This is Richard's backpack. And then my backpack and carry bag. We're ready to go and do some more exploration. So where are you taking us, Richard? Up on the hill. Hopefully there's a place to camp. Somewhere we saw, but somewhere that is on private land or too close to the private rich to in this case. Yeah. We're gonna make some lunch. 
baked beans, bean, and baked beans and pork sausages. Okay. Have we got a bag that we can use for garbage? Yeah, it's in there. Oh, God. That's lunch, guys. Heinz baked beans and pork sausages. Gotta fire that big bad boy up. Out of energy. Me too. Just run for it. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday. Richard and I did not sleep very well. We had gale force winds last night and it poured down in buckets. Heavy rain, the top that we erected collapsed a couple of times. Nonetheless, I kept very warm and dry. Richard apparently was very cold. Um, and everything um, is just damp. So I've got my sleeping bag, I've got my bivy bag outside. The sun has come up, so hopefully it will dry everything up. And this is the setup that we erected. The exact same setup as we had the night before and also the exact same camping spot as the night before. Richard is busy making us breakfast. What's for breakfast, Richard? Porridge, I believe. Is that right? Porridge, yeah, no, that's good, man. All right. Are you going to cook it there in the tent? Are you going to yeah. come out? No, I'm going to cook it in the tent because my boots are wet. And this is where we had our campfire last night, uh, which we will clean up before we leave. This is the exact spot where we had our campfire last night. As you can see, it's all been cleaned up. I'm back at my Airbnb guys. It was a cracking two nights of wild camping along the Bournemouth coastline with Richard Donaldson. Had an absolute blast. Although the weather wasn't too good, we had gale force winds and rain uh, for most of the weekend. Um, nonetheless, we both had a really good time and uh, for what it's worth, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, do give it a thumbs up. Uh, you can also uh, join the Camping Wild uh, Facebook group. Uh, the link is below. See you in the next video. Cheerio.